The beautiful country of France has been built on the sweat and blood of the African countries that have been made to obey the last command. Otherwise, face the repercussion of French upstage of coup or financing of rebel groups to initiate their own will even when their puppets are no longer in power. This has been the story in most French colonized countries on the continent of Africa until recently when some of these countries decided to form a confederation so as to protect themselves against these predictors. And that is the story we're considering today in which Burkina Faso, Niger, and Mali signed the Alliance of the Sire State on the 16th of September 2023, which is to allow them to cooperate against threats of armed rebellion or external aggression. It is a mutual defense pact aimed to help each other against possible threats of armed rebellion or external aggression. The AES that was signed binds the signatories to assist one another, including militarily, in event of any attack on any of them. And you see that the AES is actually a mutual defense pact that was created on the 16th of September 2023 during the Nigerian crisis, in which West African politicians were seen threatening to intervene militarily to restore civilian rule after the coup in Niger. The Alliance of Desire State, AES, states that its goal is actually to protect against possible threats of armed rebellion or any external aggression against the sovereignty and territorial integrity of each of the parties involved, emphasizing that any aggression against one or more of them will be termed as aggression against all of them and that we attract them intervening militarily. The Sahel region has been the site of an ongoing jihadist insurgent since 2003, which has led to many conflicts in the region, such as the Mali War and Boko Haram insurgents. All of the three member states have had their pro-Western government overthrown by their militaries. We can see the Malian coup of 2021 in which Asimi Goital and the National Committee for the Salvation of the People seized power and taken over from Bando, who came into power in the 2020 Malian coup that housed the democratically elected president of Mali, Ibrahim Boubacar Keita. Similarly, in the Guinean coup d'etat of 2021, the National Committee of Reconciliation and Development installed Muhammadu Dombaya as the new president, overthrowing the elected Alpha Conde. In Burkina Faso, September 2022 coup d'etat, Ibrahim Torre overthrew Paul Eri, who came to power by January 2022 coup d'etat by overthrowing the democratically elected president, Rosmark Christian. And we see most recently that the National Council for the Safeguard of the Homeland in the Niger 2023 coup d'etat installed Abdurrahmani Ghiani, who overthrew the elected president, Muhammad Buzan. And this has been the situation in most of these West African countries where Military junta's are now taking control and we are seeing them coming up with different strategies to move the countries forward. Yes, you're most welcome today to the Sector Blog family. Please, in case you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Press the notification bell so that you'll be notified when we post new videos. And please like and share this video. And I'll always have with me my friend Yansby. This is definitely the most handsome, capable African shows. I really pumping a physical power husband. And as usual, I will always have my sugaroni pepperoni hot baby girl. Yes, what we're discussing today is of utmost importance to Africans in the continent and also in diaspora because. They must, be, they must have been waiting that when is this going to happen? And we are seeing some military government right now coming up in Africa and doing what has not been done for decades, for ages. 
So what do you what do you think of that? What should I be thinking? Let me warn you, African people. Are you trying to say it's your military uh, government that is having more sense than the than the democratically elected president that are supposed to be in charge of your continent, in charge of your country, so that they can be very very responsible to my clientele? Because you know my clientele, they prefer you guys having democracy democratically elected government that will not be doing all this bilabalu that these military guys are doing so i pity you people of africa i pity why you want to liberate yourself from 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 the control of democracy which is a very very good control because it makes sure that the resources of africa get into the hand of the people that will use it for their good sorry for collective good you, you see, as in, it's always said that hey, what is in the heart will always come to your turn unknown. You have already disgraced your clientele now. No, no, you no, said no. they are taking our resources for their good, no, meant to be used. No, no. Hey, but tell God that there are some persons that are coming. Maybe they are coming in the name of civilian, military. It's immaterial. But the thing is, it's like they're trying to say, why is it that you are going to be having your clientele's military bases everywhere so that they can always be infusing on us their own will, their own puppets, their own everything. So they said, enough of that. I think we need to have a confederation and the first of its kind in Africa, whereby Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger, the Sahel states that have been bedeviled by your clientele's work that has caused insurgents that they've not been able to end for decades and they've not been able to end for some times now. Uh, let me not say decades because since 2003 they've been uh, there have been the Mali War and there have been Boko Haram insurgents. They've not been able to end them in this region, the Sahel region. So they came up and said, we are going to have uh, the alliance of the Sahel states to, correction. so that we can protect each other against external aggressions. In case your, your clientele will say they want to come, they say, if you come against one of us, Mere, Mere, do you know Mere? If you just say you want to come against one of us, we are going to tell you that all of us are together and you. We are all together in this. If you come against any of us, we, we all face you, you militarily. And we face you every hour. Yes, you don't have any say on this show today. You because see, You see the character of you Africans. You talk, you talk too much. And number one, you guys are scared. Why are you afraid of my clientele? My clientele doesn't have ulterior motive for you people. They love you. In short, French, Francais, they love Africa so much. They are not planning to hurt you. So why are you people forming a confederation? Are you thinking that we are going to attack you? Mm -hmm. No. Or are you thinking that we are going to incite uh, uh, military guy, uh, militias, militias, and the name of rebels are the same against you? No. Now, it is still the same you African people that we use your own hand to be fighting yourself because we are not that we are in short we are the most righteous people on earth and that is why we can tell you the countries that are corrupt the countries that are not corrupt the people that are bad the colors that are good you know white and black you and i we know the difference now well you can see us as our character is so is our skin people, <laughs> your skin is too stained it's stained with sin in short, whenever the word sin is mentioned, it is black skin they are referring to. Uh, you, 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 and, is you. And as you, no, I've been paid to be white. So, <laughs> as, as you can see now, the problem is never with my clientele. You guys have a whole lot of trust issue. Why are you forming configuration? Are you planning for war? No, you don't need it. We are already safeguarding your environment. You pursued us out of your country. Maybe we have Kukuma left. Why are you still afraid of what is not there? See, there is no need, there is no cause for alarm. By the time militia guys, by the time rebels, they start pinching uh -huh. me, they will call my clients back. Uh -huh. mm, yes. You see what you said? What you jabber? <laughs> it's, it, it's your character. You people cannot, you do not know how to have peace. You always want problem. And the problem is between yourself and yourself. You said by the time we begin to see rebels, are you not, is it on your clientele's uh, a major occupation to finance? Have you forgotten the Torek rebels that they used to have oust Gaddafi? They now form them and they are using them in other My clientele only equipped 
the, the rebels to remove someone that is so, so, so uh, dictatorial. A dictatorial is not good. What we want is for the whole world to have democracy. We know what is good for you. We always, you know, we always know. Papa James, we always know. And we advise you to take democracy. Or, <clears throat> or, <clears throat> or what? Ah, problem. <laughs> Like your client, clientele didn't pay you. No, this no, 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 you don't understand. Our clientele, my clientele, they are not deceptive. They will tell you the repercussion of there is no action that doesn't have repercussion. You guys, you we, we gave you, we we are the one that gave you independence. We spelt it for you, independence. And when we've spelt it, we we know the meaning of the level of independence we gave you. So right. You. <laughs> now, in case you want to now be figure do you understand what I mean? You want to now be rubbing shoulder with us, we will leave you to your problems. Those are the problems that have been there, that they have been helping you to manage, to manage. But let me tell you, you people, watch your back. Because it's not good what you are doing. We thought you had to eat with spoon and fork. Now you people are pursuing us from your continent. You are beginning to align with, with uh, Russia. You want them to rush you into a problem? You better calm down. <laughs> I love it, Spanish. Oh. You see, it's game over for your clientele. I've always told you on this show. Go and do these days. Go and do those days. Go and do these days. Day. <laughs> you people, you should, you should learn to respect your elders. We taught you how to shoot. We taught you how to use military Adways. We even imported so many of it to safeguard you people, although you were complaining that some of your mineral resources, they were miraculously finding their ways to us. See, we know what the problem is. Mineral resources loves my client. They love my clientele because my clientele knows how to produce with it. What do you people produce with it? You people are busy using what we call a tumor pop. <laughs> But it's not too much. Too much is African juju. <laughs> but we we will use it to build planes. We use it to build you. more ammunition. We use it to build more security for the world. Even if it does not benefit you, people of Africa, it's not a problem. You are helping to protect the world. Mm. You see. <laughs> Later, you will understand that security everywhere is security everywhere. Ah, <laughs> see. Uh, it's just a game over for your clientele, and I'm so happy that some leaders in Africa are waking up to this challenge. How many? How so, many people? Wait, how many people from the confederation? Just three. out of fifty-four. Two, okay. three. Mean, three. Just three out of fifty-four. Rome wasn't built in a day. Don't worry, we'll bring the room back to Lamasi. Uh, no, no, no. The, uh, the the thing is, you don't ever believe that Africa can be free from your shackles. But the fact is. Why you, you gave Africa? Wait, oh, you God, know why God. Africa cannot be free from the shackles that you think there is shackles? We do not, we know that there is no shackle. What we have is shackle, shackle. Now, why Africa might not be free is totally depending on you guys. You are the one that is Baba <laughs> You will come to the front and come to the back. We don't know where to place you. Before we know now, one of you will come back and negotiate with us and be telling us things. That we make us feel compassionate. Ah, that oh Africa, we need to come back and help you guys. That is how we have been helping you with your resources, helping you to keep them from wrong ends. Now you want to go and give Russia, they will rush your resources. You want to go and give China, they will shine up on your resources. <laughs> but we, we are helping you to manage it, and now you are doing why don't you people die? Anyway, it's left for you. Manage what? Mm -hmm. Manage what? That you people are very hostile, you're very wicked, your agreements are not benefiting the continent. It's just a you win win, you, 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 you win situation, not a win win situation. All your policies, all that you're doing. Okay, watch out for my next video. You're going to understand more. So, the thing is, it's game over. And all 
this what, is the this is the about? first confederation uh, in Africa, and it's going to succeed because the people that are involved, all of Bani, Bawaju Bani, they are not going to be here. What if it's all the, all the Bawaju Bani, they are not going to be here. If uh, the federation I mean, scatters before you can even think of it starting up, because of what we have Abdurrahmani. Giani of Nije and Asimi Goita, they are interested in the citizens much more than just your clientele and their puppets. And that's why they're coming up with this. As it's, you saw in our other video, if you've not watched it, where uh, Ibrahim Tauri, or was it the live stream, was saying, is it security first in Africa or elections? Sure. So they want to secure the lives of the citizens so that when the citizenry is secured, they can make the right choices and the, the will of the people can actually be heard through their votes. But whereby it's just your clientele, they can daru that call, you know now, <laughs> what is happening? They can daru that call, whereby even in your clientele, one of your clientele space, hey, did, did dead people not come and vote? They came to vote, but whereby we have real security in Africa and the way we've been doing it, our Africanicious way, we are not going to be having your own democration of grace, whatever you call it. So they are coming up with new strategies that will help us that it is actually the will of the people, those that the people want to rule them, that will be there, not those that your puppets will, your, your people will force their puppet or not, because whether you want it or not, oh, there are repercussions, so we are going to abuse our militias, so this one, your militias are of, of, of no use here again, that is what is happening. To you people of Africa, if you listen to this woman, you are on your own, mm -hmm. or is your case, mm -hmm. listen to me Ibado. and my clientele, they love you so much. They love it to the extent that they even left their own country to come and initiate military bases around your country, mm -hmm. around your continent. Take care of you. They want to make sure that your life is safe under their control. <laughs> yes, because if they do not control you, some other bad people will control you. And you can see this dollar three, three, this three president, uh, head of state that she mentioned, they are bad people. They, they they started making sure, see how they are bad. They started making sure that your resources that is attracting us to come and profile uh, security to you, they started making sure that those resources are no longer under our control mm -hmm. again. They are now making those resources to become expensive. When things are too expensive, it's not good for the world. Now, if we buy it expensive, we are going to produce it expensively and we are going to sell it expensively. Did they say it's only you people that can produce it? You people are so we, you are we. Africans are supposed to be consumers. Uh, yes, because there is need for us to have balanced economy. In balanced economy, one economy will be producing, the other will be consuming. Mm -hmm. And when the producer and the consumer meet, we call it equilibrium. <laughs> it is the point of equilibrium, you have peace. <laughs> when you say you do not want the Equilibrium peace will give you problems. Hey, that problem so bad that sorry. To buy je equilibrium finish, but je do not finish. But je in shade rain, shape in no. But je so bad that sorry. Yes, so bad. To the end of my day. Are you saying to the end of my day? Bad that sorry. I'm not going to say that until you bad that sorry. So. <laughs> the, the way you people are saying every small small thing, you will be abusing my clientele. Like you be saying, "Ori clientele mi kope." You be saying the head of my clientele, "Ola be kashu not." My clientele, they are very very nice people. I wonder about them. So in Geneva, they want to share. So what they are doing is to help you people of Africa to manage your resources, to manage your human democracy. Democracy is very good. Keep at it. It is a program way of making Africa remain this big way it has been. You guys are big already. Don't aim too much. Let my client tell it, lead you. All that you're saying is cliches. What did I say? Cliches. We're not going to look clean. No, we're used we're to not it. Really then, what's it? We've not started. And do you know, China of those days, that was a developing country. You know what China is. No, 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 no. We don't want you to follow the path of China. Mm -hmm. we don't because we China, are not China disappointed us. We thought China would be the mumu of the world. They ended up as being the Omoge Tolobolori. We don't want that. We don't want competition. We want Africa just remain the way you are. Uh, we want you guys to develop little by little. 
Mm-hmm. Liku <laughs> So that we can continue to show you the path. Maybe in the next 1,000 years, we will reveal more secrets to you. You so already. You can... You're already ousted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I am to lay you close. So you think. And, and you are ostracized. <laughs> we run the world. We run the world. Even Satan cannot stop us. And that is why we are looking at you, Africans. You are fighting the battle that you do not know. Because by the time we go through your confederation, we will only look for perpetual. Chicken change, I'm a fan of perpetual. You want the perpetual and they will show you guys the way. Don't uh, worry. Uh, yeah. Don't worry. The only person that my clientele is afraid of that is making my clientele not to just rush into these three countries and deal with them is because of Omoguruku Netanku and Putin. It's because of that Putin guy. That's why we, my clientele are just coming down to say, oh, if we rush into this matter, Putin might decide to put in more effort. And we do not want him to put in those kind of wicked efforts because you see what Putin is doing. You think Putin is a bad man. You see what he's doing in Ukraine. We were just playing with him and he took it serious. <laughs> we, learned, we learned our lesson. That's why we're doing Jeje Eliko in Africa oh. because we might not know what Putin is up to again. We even try to destabilize his economy. Look at what he's doing. Belwan Yossi. <laughs> at that period, the guy was Bogalicious. <laughs> and he's dancing Boga. We are bo- anyway, spiritually, we're fighting. <laughs> 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 Uh, what I'm just saying, it's it's game over for Mr. Cetra's clientele. Okay, so how do you feel about this latest? I know you must have heard about this ongoing uh the alliance of the side states uh that is happening between Burkina Faso, Niger, and uh Mali. What do you feel about it? The first of its kind in Africa. We are having a confederation and African countries coming together saying we are going to be helping each other, even militarily. And we are going to be protecting each other's interests. We are going to be protecting each other's uh, sovereignty, our uh, territorial integrity. And is it not splendid? Is it not great? Or what do you feel about it, please? I would like to hear from you in the comment section. And what do you think of Mr. Cetra's plight? Can you tell us of their possible moves? We already know, but... I will please like to hear from you in the comment section because it is what you bother what Before we go today, all I will just say is summary in nutshell is that all these things that you are planning is not good, though. that is God. You people should just relax. Let us help you to handle your security. All this confederation of things, you people want to do mighty ego. You want to combine yourself together to, to face us. Is it because somebody has been opening your eyes on how to defend yourself against uh, my people, I want to get on group. <laughs> Let me now tell you this. Please, don't boga too much. Because if you boga, you can deplete your boga. Uh, we know the right shame. people to call and list you. The people that sold Thomas Sankara like popcorn. The people that sold all the big, big men in Africa the other time. That we captured them like chicken pigs. We have, so we have tried it. Don't. Some months ago, they, there was an attempted coup against Brian Torre. Because I know he's one of your client's greatest enemy. And he did not succeed. That one was a foolish boy. We did not even have hand in that. Mm-hmm. That one was a foolish boy. He didn't do it well. Mm-hmm. He should have listened to advice on how to do A to Z to B. That is the way to go. But let me tell you, people of Africa, relax. We have good plans for you. Continue to follow our plan and your life will not be having all these problems. What is ball or wine? I don't yet it's just a it has ball on my hand. <laughs> It's game over for them. They've, they've lost everything. They've lost it here in Africa. Or what do you think? So, <laughs> Mr. Tantele, it is already over. Uh, so, don't forget to keep your joy because that's we, this, we, the central, is just bringing it to you the way it is and just with the spice of joy and laughter because your joy is your strength and your strength is your. Is your life and whilst we are going to be taking this joy uh to the streets of africa we ought to have done that on the 9th of december but due to mr cetra's clientele's work here in africa it's the hunger is much and we're trying to make sure we gather enough to feed a lot of people who want to we have to postpone the uh feeding the uh, feed the africa project till 
20, 10th of, of December, December 2023 so that we can be able to feed more people uh, and we look forward to that day uh, please if you are out there you would like to support this uh, initiative in which we are feeding about uh, 1000 plus people kindly subscribe um, I say kindly subscribe kindly uh, see the uh, contribution details $1, $2, $5, $10, $100, $1000, $1, whatever amount to support this Feed the Africa project as we go out to the streets to feed the less privileged. And please remember, this period is a period of uh, yeah, youth time. They call it youth time. Prepare for your Christmas very well. Those of you that are doing Christmas and those of you that love uh, Satan Claus, oh, sorry, Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> this is me. I love Satan. Oh, sorry, Santa Claus. I prepare for your gifts already, and I hope that it doesn't bring mushroom with the goosey uh, listen to you. So, with that being said, we want to say a nice one from all of you in Africa. Africans, please open your brain. Don't make your brain to be like a brain box. Use it like a human brain so that you can begin to use your membrane to think like a brain, brainy, brainy human being. So from all of us at Cyprus, we want to say thank you so much. Love you. See you next time. Remember the uh, love therapy, which says the words on your wife very well. It cures this emotional cancer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Catch you. Love you. Bye-bye. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Like and share. Thank you. Yes.